Okay, now you want to talk about the definition of neglect. Uh, definition means a failure, refusal, or inability of parent, guardian, legal, custodian, or other person um, to control to provide the necessary food, clothing, medical, dental care, shelter, and seriously endangers physical health of the child. Now, it's really amazing to me. Um, nowadays, you get put in jail for being pretty much poor. Back in the day, if you if you were struggling and you had to struggle with your child, we knew that's just the way it was. Nowadays, it has become a crime. It has become political uh, because they'll take your child from you as opposed to helping you. Um, and I find a serious problem with that. Sometimes people don't get the support they need, and you have entities that are quick to come in and take their children out, put them into foster care, uh, and take them outside the community so other people can make a lot of money off of them. Okay? Physical and behavior indicators of neglect are consistently dirty, poor hygiene, wears the same clothes constantly, begs or hoards food, states that he, she deserves harsh punishment, extreme attention seeking, poor language development, untreated medical problems, extremely bad teeth. Parents typically young, lack knowledge of children, poor, have little, if any, support, suffer from learned helplessness. And that's the new key word they got out here now. This is a learned helplessness that a lot of our um, families, especially in our community, are suffering. Um, I call it the pain body. Learned helplessness, like we just don't think very much of ourselves and we just um, allow the worst of the worst to happen and we accept it. It's like we almost see, like you see an arrow coming, but you don't get out the way. Okay? You've, you've resigned yourself to taking it, you know, and that's what a lot of us have and we've become accustomed to. And then we get mad when there's a few of us that say, uh-uh. Uh uh, this is not the way things are supposed to be, and I think my mental health is important. And I'm tired of having this thinking, thinking, and I'm tired of my community having this thinking, thinking. Um, and I got to get away from you guys. You know, there's a lot of times people have a lot of pushback when people say that, but when people are traumatized, you have to kind of put some distance between us, uh, between you and that person. Um, so what happens when you have a whole community? Huh? What happens when you have a whole community and your whole culture is abuse? That's dark. It's real dark, y'all. You know, now finally here goes some good news. Most abused children will not become abusers themselves. And that's a fact. Many abused children go on to succeed and be happy. Okay? That's a fact. Here's another fact. Many abused children will actually become very protective of their own children and other people's children. Okay? They're like, uh-uh, because -uh, I know what happened to me. And so I'm not going to allow something like that to happen to somebody else. That's what a large percentage of people who are abused, that is the persona that they take on. OK, um, there's a lot of resiliency. There's the ability to bounce back from this advers this adversity. Um, this I mean, Wolin des uh, describes several strengths that are common in children who overcome abuse and thrive. And among them are insight, independence and relationships. Okay. So know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and it doesn't have to necessarily be a, tr a train <laughs> coming your way. But I really thought I wanted to, I really wanted to share that today because I wanted to know, let y'all know that we are creating our own hell. We are traumatizing our children from the womb and then definitely when they come out, with behaviors that 
we have basically normalized. So I call myself giving you a, a rundown on what uh, a gauge and a standard should be for you when you're raising and when you're dealing with children. Some of the things that you want to avoid and some of the things that you want to do more of. So I I, I, I want to know what y'all think. I want to know what you think about um, what goes on in our community. What do y'all think about learned behavior, pain bodies? And do you think somebody that is severely, severely, severely abused and that continues, continues to perpetuate the abuse either physically or thinking and mentally, do you think that that person um, should kind of be pushed back a little bit? Do you think that mindset should be pushed back on set a little bit? I don't know. Leave your comments below. Okay? So if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. So I'm going to see y'all in the next one.